Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and this is Farah Sheikh from F Sheikh Excel Master. And today's video will be very interesting and you are going to love about it. And what I'm going to show you is, is about in Excel that they have introduced two new different data types. Those are basically geography and stock data type. Well, when you go on the data ribbon tab and on under data ribbon tab, you can find these two new icons. Currently, this is available for Office Insiders and to Office 365 once it is ready. It's my privilege to show it to you that how these things work. Once you have it in your Office 365, you can take the advantage of these data types. So let me quickly show it to you how it works. So let us assume that we have a country called France. And earlier in Excel, the cells only understand in native Excel I'm talking about not about DAX or Power Query it just only understand text and numbers so for Excel this cell is either a text or a number but now with this data type you can just simply click on the geography and you can tell Excel hey this is a geography data type and I need your geographical information so as you have seen as I have clicked on the geographical data type. This small map is appearing next to the France, which represents that this is a geographical data type. On the rightmost corner, if you see, this is an insert data, which has a lot of information which you would like to extract and do the various analysis. Well, and if you just hover the mouse on the map icon, you can see again, it has a nice animation and there's a shortcut key for control shift f5 which will launch this into a card and you can grab the information from here as well so i just need to get the capital name so i'm going to select this extract information and that was quite quick so now if you would like to extract the currency code then we will just select this cell okay now see excel has become smart day by day now it knows that the cell b2 is an geographical data type so it has automatically given me all the details like the currency code so i'm just going to put dot and cur that's my currency code when i hit enter boom we got the currency code let us try for another country and let me quickly make this data into a table range So that's good. So we are done with converting our data into a table. And now just see the magic what it happens. So if I would like to add uh, the area, suppose, so that how it goes, that's too fast. So if I would like to add another information like country calling code, boom. So we have it over here. So it happens many times you need such information to do some kind of analysis. So now you must be knowing why I have converted this data into a table range. You know that table range are quite faster in working. And so if I will type another country name like China, boom, I just need it to assign it again as a geographical data type. That's how it goes. Now let us try another country. Now just watch, once I press enter, You'll see a small icon coming up which has automatically now detected that it is a geographical data type column so let us go and type another country india bingo so this works really awesome and you can get all the country currency codes so currently this stuff is really cool and i hope in future they add the data to be more dynamic like i can get the currency exchange rates or uh, even I can measure the distance between the two cities. So that will be really cool stuff. I myself being a supply chain guy, I would really love to do that analysis and make most of the savings <laughs> out of it. So I would love to see that in future, but whatever they have done, it is really cool. So let us quickly see about the stock data types, how it works. And I'm going to say MSFT. That's a short form for Microsoft and stock. Okay. And 
we go even water into table range multiple headers as usual we're going to give a nice name stock and my friend this is my data type called stock data type so now you must have seen i am getting a data selector okay so similar data selector you will find it when you are in the countries as well because if a country name is a duplicate or the same country has a name then in that case you will find this data selector where it asks you to basically select the source of the data so we are going to select this data type microsoft now let us quickly see what we have okay, we want to get the co names and what else we have over here their headquarters that's wonderful as you can see this is a small information that uh, this is not for the trading purpose but if you would like to extract such informations from here you can really do that and again if you click on this small icon you can get all this various information so let's put another company apple let's see it doesn't work so we'll again tell him the pattern that Yes, this is a stock data type. Now, Tesla. Now it knows automatically that this column is a stock data type. And, uh, and let us type another one. Google. Aha. So we got this information, everything being feeded over here. This is a really cool stuff, you know, and I'm just playing around this and I find it quite handy especially when it comes to currency code and you must have noticed that when I entered the information like the headquarters uh, getting it into table range you know so it has automatically taken the headers and it has taken the currency you see it is, it is really cool you know let us add one more data which is the official language would like to see which are the languages for this country wow so this is really cool you know that we can easily get this language names i hope my friends you have enjoyed this video so please push a like button share this video subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button for the latest update and i'll be keep posting more amazing excel videos all the latest update what i'm getting from the microsoft will be available on my channel so stay connected signing off for today your friend Farah Sheikh from FJ Excel Master